Hi gang, Scott here. A quick little asset management tip for you in Lightroom, something I realized I was doing uh, relatively recently and thought I'd share it with you. It has to do with virtual copies, naming them, and having that name show up in some way in your grid view and your loop view. So uh, we know what virtual copies are, and I've got different videos that explain what those are. If you're not familiar with it, check the show notes. Uh, the pretty little button popping up here saying you can jump over to check out that video. But uh, when you create virtual copies, you start to end up with you know a bunch of them, and you, know, they, you get this sequence where, uh, okay, I've got this one, and then I've got this one, and then I've got this one, I mean, what are all these things doing? Well, uh, you'll notice that I have a file name on this one here, and then this next one has uh, something else. It has LRMLS, and this one has original. Well, where are those coming from? And that is the virtual copies, right? We have a little badge down the corner telling us these are virtual copies. Well, how am I getting those names to show up here? Uh, well, there's there's two steps. You know, first, when you create a virtual copy, it just gives it some generic name, you know, copy number one. So you have to modify that in your metadata panel. So I'm selecting this one here. And if you choose, you know, quick describe, and there's a few other ones like default, it's in there, but quick describe, you can see copy name. And this is where by default, it'll have copy and some number. Type in whatever you want there and give the virtual copy its own unique name. Now, the second part, how do I get this to show up in the library module? Up in your view menu and view options. In the grid view, compact cell extras. So yeah, I have, uh, I basically have everything selected on this, but it's this thing here, top label and copy name or file name. That's how I like to view them because in most of my views, I'm sorting by capture time. So as a result, all of my virtual copies are right next to each other. And usually they're in a stack. So they're, they're all already right side by side. So I don't need to have copy name and file name, or you can have the file name first and the copy name second. I actually use this one for the loop view, but this is where you get that setting. So if you choose top label, copy name or file name, that's how you get this to show up here. Now, what about the loop view? Uh, let me go into here and I'll press the I key a couple of times. You see now I have the file name and the name of the copy. That's just how I prefer to have it set up because when I'm looking at a single image, I kind of just like to see the file name. Same area, view, view options, and loop view. In this case, my uh, you know, they cycle through. Each time you press I, you get like this set of information, or then this set of information, or nothing. I choose file name and copy name. That gives me the file name, the copy name, and we're good to go. So I find that to be quite helpful when you're working with virtual copies, giving them a name other than copy one, copy two, copy three. You know what is it that you're doing with that virtual copy, and then making sure it shows up in your grid view and your loop view. Like I said, little asset management tip. Hope you find it useful. Got other questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.